Hello, Grade Fours, and welcome to your first lesson of mathematics with Mr. T. For today's lesson, you will need a pen or a pencil, a writing book, and a ruler. Today's lesson is on 2D shapes. And after today's lesson, you'll be able to identify, draw, and label. Now, here's a magic sentence to help you remember your 2D shapes. The queen puts her shoes on correctly. That's it. The queen puts her shoes on correctly. For your do now, write the date and the heading, which is 2D shapes. Skip a line and copy the magic sentence into your book. When you are done, read the magic sentence out loud five times. Yes, I said it. Read the magic sentence out Pencils loud down. five times. Now that you're done with your do now, the queen the puts her shoes on notes. correctly. I'll give when you a I'm moment, done, I'll give you, you a that. moment to copy down the notes. Let's break down the magic sentence. The queen puts her shoes on correctly. I'm going to focus on the first two words. The Queen. The letter T stands for T in triangle, which is a shape with three sides. The letter Q in Queen is for quadrilateral, which is a shape with four sides, and that could be squares, rectangles, rhombus, trapeze. I wonder if you can find any others. I'll give you a moment to copy down these notes. All right, pencils down. Now to the next three words. I'm going to go through the next three words and I'll give you a chance to copy down the notes. P in the word puts is for pentagon. That is a shape with five sides. H in her is for hexagon, which is a shape with, yes, you guessed it, six sides. And S is for septagon. And that is a shape with seven sides. Now, an easy way to remember this is to think about the movie Transformers. If you think about the Diceptagons, and you can think about the word Septagon. I'll give you a moment to copy down your notes. Pencils down. We're almost done. Now for the last two words. The queen puts her shoes on correctly. Of course, she's the queen. The letter O in on is for octagon and that is a shape with eight sides. Another way to remember this is to think about the letter O in the word octopus and if you think about it, how many legs does an octopus have? Yes, eight, that's right. A shape with eight sides is called an octagon. The letter C in correctly is for circle. Now a circle does not have sides because a circle is round. Copy down your notes. Pencils down. Now that you're done taking down your notes, it's time for your main activity. For your main activity, I'm going to give you two examples. You will copy down the examples and we'll check if you get the answers correct. But first, let's read the examples. A shape with three sides is called a what? Here's a picture with a shape with three sides. Example 2. Squares and rectangles are shapes with how many sides? Fill in the missing words. Let's check if you got your answers correct. A shape with three sides is called a triangle. Well done. Squares and rectangles are shapes with four sides. Very good. Pencils done. Now that you're done with your Examples. Time for you to complete your main activity. Complete your main activity in your writing book. And then go to the next slide to check if you've got all your answers correct. Give yourself a mark out of five. In this lesson, we have learned how to identify, label and draw 2D shape. Your next lesson is going to be on ascending order. What does ascending order mean? 
you've got some homework. <laughs>